all black seats, crème brûlée What they gon' say? With the top down, screaming money, anything We up till six in the morning When the sunrise, we'll be on it Oh, I got five, you know it's all live Tell me when to go, baby, when we gon' slide Baby, when we gon' slide Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Today I'm gonna be doing my nails for my birthday My birthday is on May 7th you guys are probably gonna see this way after but it's whatever um yes i'm gonna start by pushing back my cuticles and removing all the dead skin y'all know the deal dead skin dirt whatever and now i'm filing the nails shaping them up to put the tips on i don't like when my nails are square when i put my tips on so i just shape them up to be round and I filed the top of the surface of the nail did I say that right I filed this I said the top of the surface the top and the surface the same thing the top of the nail file the top of the nail gonna apply the tips make sure you apply them side wall to side wall y'all know the deal or they will not stick they will pop off and you'll be looking ratchet okay and we don't do missing nails over here okay okay i don't know why i did it side i mean hand by hand but I take my straight edge nail clippers and clip away the sides at first I was gonna try to do a tapered square but then I was just like I'm just gonna do coffin because that's my thing I love coffin and that's all I do I need to switch it up but it's whatever and when you're doing this make sure you use a straight edge nail clipper because if you don't your nail is gonna look like crooked like you need a straight edge and then now you see me just shaping up the nails before i apply the acrylic it's just less work you wouldn't want to try and put square nails and put acrylic and then try to shape up the acrylic after you put it on no the reason is so you have less work work smarter not harder take your primer and your dehydrator I apply two coats of the dehydrator and one coat of the primer <music> I started with the marble so I took I put a bead of clear and then I put a bead of white on top of it so I could create this marble effect so what you want to do like I said I'm gonna say it again you take a clear bead and put it on the nail and then you take a white bead and you put it in the same thing then you like swirl it around if you guys can see what I'm doing and then you like brush it down but don't brush it down a lot because you're gonna mess up the design <music>
start by putting down a clear bead and then this is a glitter I made it was just I had some little like glitter things from a kit a poly gel kit that I had and so I put the little glitter and a chunky glitter and I put clear acrylic and mixed it up and this is what I got and then after that I'm doing an ombre so I'm gonna take the I think it was I think I used Mia Secret Cover Rose and I applied that over it. At first I was going to do the ombre with the glitter under but I decided to put it on the top so I build out um, the rose cover rose first and then I applied the, um, the glitter on top to do the ombre effect. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I could do a video on how to do an ombre each way. If you guys want to see that. I could definitely do that for you guys. Because, girl, I had to learn. I applied the bead and then I swiped it up. Instead of swiping it down. And then I clear capped this nail as well. For this nail I just used a full nail of this pink color to be honest I don't know if this is pink or like a light purple I think no I, I'm stupid it's pink okay it's pink so I use this pink color and I did it the whole nail As you can see, it was a little bit patchy, so I took my cuticle pusher and mixed it up a little bit. And it was way better after I did that. So when you guys get your acrylic, make sure to mix it or shake it or whatever so the colors is more pigmented. Because, you know, I think what they do with acrylic is they use, like, pigments with clear acrylic. And they just mix it up like I did with my glitter but they use pigments instead of um, glitter that's really what I think they do so when you get it shake it up so all the color is like pigmented <music> this color on my thumb as well I don't know when I do my acrylic I like to do it in small beads so I don't have so much fouling to do after I don't like this three ball one ball all this method I feel like you should do it at your own pace and at your own speed like don't follow what these people are saying you do one ball two ball seven balls ten balls no homo <laughs> but yeah
pointer finger I tried to do like a mix of pink white and clear so this is what I did I was trying to be fancy it worked a little bit like you could see a little bit of the pink in the nail but I feel like the pink is a little bit too clear for this like I should have used the brighter pink or maybe I should have used like the glitter maybe if the glitter it would have looked nice with glitter I should have did that but I didn't and I did the marble again with my pointer finger with I added pink in it I did the same thing I added um, a bead of clear and then I added a pink bead on top of the clear bead and I swirled it around make sure when you're doing those beads that they're wet so they don't dry up on you and you have a big old lump um, in your nail <laughs> that's not cute at all and then you're gonna have to do a whole bunch of filing like nobody wants that we don't love that for us <laughs> also when you do smaller beads you have less fouling to do and you can apply the acrylic way neater when you use smaller beads instead of big beads and then you have the acrylic flowing everywhere and then you have this big old mess that you have to file i've been there done that and i ain't going back <laughs> so yeah just work at your own speed and make sure you don't apply it so thick that you have so much filing to do at the end because filing is not fun honey when i tell you <music> show you guys a little bit of what I did on the other hand I learned from my mistake on the other hand with the glitter nail and I applied the cover rose first at the cuticle and then I applied the glitter at the top and brushed it up <music> This one I'm doing the marble again. I feel like this hand on my left hand came out better. I mean this marble on my left hand on my right hand came out better than my left hand. I feel like I was more comfortable with what I was doing, so I was able to execute it better.
I switched it up on this hand. I tried to do the pink on the pinky instead of on the index. So yeah, I did that. <laughs> but to be honest, both the the pink and the white marble, they look the same. Like I think the pink was way too clear. Like it kind of shows but not too much. You only could see it when like you're really really looking at it. So now I'm shaping and filing to get the shape back from so when you apply acrylic your shape kind of gets messed up so after you done applying your acrylic you want to shape up the nails back a little bit and take your your e-file and shape up your cuticle area also you want to clean up the surface of the nail as well with your you file. you're gonna take your 180 sanding band and um, go over the nails a little bit because you're gonna buff them after making it easier for the gel application supplies you guys i need nail files i need new buffers i need to go on amazon and re-up because i'm gonna take this nail glue and i zoom in a little bit for you guys and i'm going to um apply this on the whole nail Without curing, I'm going to take my base coat gel and I'm going to apply that on to the nail. Then I'm going to apply my cuticle crystals. I love cuticle crystals. And I'm going to put it in the light for 30 seconds. do 
the nail reveal on the glitter nail just because I feel like it's more prettier. Look at that. I'm gonna put it in slow mo for you guys. Wow. The camera's kind of blurry, but it's whatever. I think there's a little bit of dust on my camera. This is the finished product. I'm gonna apply the base coat. You guys, you're supposed to apply the base coat gel and then the top coat because it makes the top coat go on way more easier and I feel like it just looks way better. that's all i did thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments below what else you guys want to see from me and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching